Boston, CBS, it's that time of year. As we get deeper into summer, the attention of those living anywhere on the East Coast turns to the tropics. As the summertime thunderstorm threat starts to wane, most of the rainfall this time of year actually comes from tropical systems or their remnants. Take a look at the map right now and you'll see not one, not two, but three tropical systems, including the remnants of what was once Fred. This hurricane season was predicted to be active and here we are, already eight named storms down the list and we are just getting warmed up. No matter how many storms form in the Atlantic in a given season, if none of them come within a thousand miles of your home, it doesn't really register with most folks, but, as they say, it only takes one. Would you believe it has been 30 years since the last hurricane made landfall in New England? Hurricane Bob, 30 years ago this week, was the last one and I bet most of you either weren't born yet, don't remember it at all, or didn't live here at the time. And that is part of the problem we face here in New England, so much time elapses between, big ones, that very few folks can remember and we get complacent. And that brings us to Tropical Storm Henry. WBZ TV graphic, it was a seemingly innocuous tropical system that has been spinning around the Bermuda area since last weekend with literally nowhere to go, nothing to push or pull it in any one direction. Earlier this week, it appeared as though it would wait for a cold front to move off of the eastern US at some point which would scoop it up and hurl it harmlessly out to sea. But, that hasn't happened. In fact, Henry has slowly gathered strength and seems to be readying itself for a run towards New England. The current National Hurricane Center forecast track is for the center of Henry to pass just east or perhaps right over the Outer Cape and Nantucket on Sunday night. Check. Tropical Storm Henry Path The official cone of uncertainty extends from eastern Long Island well to the east out to sea. WBZ TV graphic, at this time, still several days from impact, there are several potential solutions still on the table with Henry. In the next 24 to 48 hours we will be watching closely to see how much Henry strengthens, or doesn't, and how it interacts with larger scale weather features currently over the northeastern United States. The difference of just 50 to 100 miles in the track will have huge consequences on the impacts here in southern New England. WBZ TV graphic, at this point, frankly, it is just too soon to forecast the track down to that detail. Here is what we know at this point, the time frame of greatest impact here will be Sunday into Monday. Regardless of track, the seas will become very rough later this weekend and anyone with marine interests should begin to make plans now to secure boats, etc.